we are here to share with you our July subscribe and save. We wanted to get it here before Prime Day because, you know, once Prime Day happens, there's going to be a lot of good deals, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. So before we show you the order, the first thing that we wanted to tell you about was that buy. Remember that buy deal we got? Oh, yes. They, it's delayed in shipping, probably because of 4th of July. So we didn't get it in time to show you, but I have screenshots for you to see. So there was like a $20 coupon on this buy drink that Brian likes that I never buy because it's expensive Yeah. in the store. Um, and like in Costco and stuff, they only sell the buy in the multi-packs, not the cherry. So I was able to use that $20 coupon on three separate cases. And I got them for $7.64 a case, which was $0.64 cents a bottle. Isn't that crazy? That's a really good deal. I wish it was here to show you, but it's not. I'm sorry. So let's dive in, Brooke. I know there's something in there that you're really waiting to see. Okay, so there it is minus the buy. And I guess we'll start with the cereal. Y'all know we don't buy a lot of cereal. But when I can get a deal on it, I don't mind treating the kids. So... First, we got those two boxes of the Cascadian Farms Berry Vanilla Puffs. That came to $2.67 a box. And then we got those Enviro Kids Rhino Rolls. I don't know, do the kids even like those? <laughs> sure. I'm not sure either if they've ever had them. Um, they're $12.02 or $2.40 a box. But you know what I like about the Enviro Kids? If I was going to buy cereal, it would be this brand. Because... The ingredients are pretty wholesome. I mean, as far as cereal goes. And there's only nine grams of sugar, which is like unheard of. I think even Raisin Bran has more sugar than that. So I'm all right with them eating that. Then those Cascadian Farm granola bars back there. Now those are not for every day. What they are for is the boys hiking trips because like I wouldn't, just give this to kids every day. This isn't a healthier choice for me, but when the boys are hiking, they need things like this. And so I was able to scoop up a deal and I'll put that, I have a hiking box of their foods. Um, for the five boxes, it was 10, 17 or 204 a box with five bars in each box that came to 41 cents a bar. Then we also don't buy a lot of juice, but Brooke, Bailey, and I like to make jello and we make it from juice. I don't even know how to say that, Brooke. Mango, apple, and orange with. Go ahead, do it. Ba -ba -ba. Bo -ba -ba. Bo -ba -ba. Bo -ba -ba. Someone tell us how to say that. Anyway, we got this four pack of the Whole Foods juice that we'll make jello out of because. There's no added sugar. It's just juice. Um, 1022 or 256 a bottle. And then also a four pack of these back to nature crackers. These are really good. We like these a lot actually. Um, 771 or $1.93 a box. That was a great deal. Then we got some cleaners. Now we make a lot of our own cleaners with um, vinegar, essential oils. But I also like to have some just to have around. So the bathroom cleaner there, the spearmint was $2.41. The daily shower spray was $2.54. And then there's a refill back there. Brooke's doing such a good job. For $4.80. That's awesome. Then that toothpaste, you all know that we have a couple people that use this Boca. It was recommended by our dental hygienist who knows that we don't use fluoride or anything. And um, I think, what, two or three people use this? Yeah, I think so. Maybe three. And they all really like it. It's been helpful. It is a little pricey, but I found this cherry blossom flavor that was cheaper than the normal one for $9.06. And I know it's a little much for toothpaste, but none of those people have needed dental work anytime recently. So to me, it's sort of worth it. Then another hiking deal I got for the boys for their upcoming adventures 
is a three pack of the Backpackers Pantry granola with blueberries, almonds, and milk. Again, this isn't something that we would ever be eating on a normal day, but when they're hiking, those added calories and carbs are gonna be helpful for them. I got the three pack for nine, I, well, I bought three individual packs. Um, they came to six sixty dollars a piece. And then it's Brooke's little treat. She's so excited. So, you know how we love these off-season gardening deals. Brooke and I found a 30-pack of these hair, heirloom non-GMO seeds. Ooh, what kind of corn was that? I don't know. It looks white. It is white. Country gentleman. John Oz. Oh, that? open pollinated. Yeah. Does that mean anything? <laughs> I just made it sound like a big deal. I'm like, I probably didn't mean anything. Anyway, That's funny. 30 seeds for $9.49 or $0.32 cents a piece. Is that another corn? Yeah, it's another white one. That's so weird. That one doesn't say open pollinated. <laughs> Is that another corn? Yeah, that's the one he usually grows, Golden Bantam. Oh, cool. That's the one he likes. Carrots, uh, carrots turnips, chili. Yeah, there's a lot of bunch of them that are There's our them. cucumbers we plant. Market more. I just Chives. Saw. More lettuce, peppers, squash, peas, beets, cucumbers, radish, spinach, cucumbers. Ooh, those are pretty. Mm -hmm. Golden wax. Jack o' lanterns. Nice. By the way, those are pumpkins. You don't grow. <laughs> you grow a pumpkin with a variety jack o' lantern and you can carve it, it after it's a little grows. deceiving. <laughs> I can see how people could be confused. So a 32 cents a seed packet, that's quite the deal, yeah. in my opinion. We have a big assortment of seeds, we're always adding to it. So for all of that, plus the buy that you don't see, we spent, it's not gonna focus. You're out. 116.49, which I am not complaining about, that was a deal. Obviously the seeds were your favorite. Yes. From Very that sweater. So. <laughs> um, so with Prime Day coming up the 16th and 17th, uh -huh. don't forget to watch the Amazon coupons. The link is down below. Amazon coupons. Um, they're always changing, but on Prime Day, they're going to be phenomenal. You don't want to miss out. And you probably want to shop early because I have found in previous years that the coupons like sell out. Like I think they have so many per coupon that they allow. Um, so shop early, early, early. Now, last month, some of you said that you couldn't, when you clicked the Amazon coupon link, it didn't take you to the coupons. Um, two things I found, it may not work for international users. It may only be a link good for the United States and you have to be logged in your Amazon account. So keep that in mind. So our prime day shopping tip. Ooh, exciting. Exciting. Brooke and I are both filling up a shopping list on Amazon. You can save things to a shopping list. Do that now. Save all the items that you are like, oh, I wonder if this will be on sale on Prime Day. And then on Prime Day morning, you can just go in and look at the prices of those items that you've already saved. So in the next like week or so, yep. we're gonna share our list with you. What we're watching for deals on, we both have a list going. Yeah, because I have my own list. Yeah, so we have our own list going. Very exciting, like my 10-quart crock pot. I really need, I'm missing my 10-quart <laughs> crock pot since it broke, it's horrible. Yeah. Um, but that is already in my list. But I am actively preparing my list right now. Brooke is preparing hers, and we're gonna share them with you before Prime Day, obviously. Right? Yeah, before Prime Day. Before Prime so Day. You get any ideas. We're going to share our list with you. So come back for that and let us know what you got in your subscribe and save. We'll see you soon. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe.